Hello everybody, and welcome for joining me on another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. The beer I'm going to be presenting to you today will be the wonderful Red Racer India Pale Ale from Camry, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Now, I'm saying, sorry, not Camry, it's from Camera, Vancouver. Uh, apparently this is considered the best beer in BC between 2008 and 2009. Um, they have another beer that they consider one of their finest that's supposed to be considered called it's supposed to be called VB. I did not uh, like that very much, so I'm hoping that uh, you know IPAs they always win with me. It says right here on ale fashion to survive the long voyage from England to India during the British colonization. Hops, hops, and more hops. This ale has an intense aroma and a long lingering finish. Drink as an appetizer on its own or pair it with any hearty dish. A beer for the connoisseur, and this is the brewmaster's choice. Uh, yeah, apparently it's from Surrey, BC. I don't know where this camera Vancouver came from. Actually, uh, you know what, that could be the brewery. No, it's, uh, it says brewed by Central City Brewing Company, Surrey, BC. So I don't know what camera Vancouver has to say. Um, Actually, it gives it a website, so maybe you can find out there, www.cameravancouver.ca. It's a 355 milliliter beer at 6.5% ABV. One thing I really like about this is you kind of have that, like, old-fashioned, you know, artistry kind of, you know, I kind of feel like I'm looking at the 70s when I'm looking at this thing. 60s bicycle, 70s looking color. One thing before I start my beer review, I just went camping this weekend. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Twisted my freaking ankle. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, the twist. Oh, look at how freaking fat my ankle is, man. I don't know if I can get an angle, but this this is some nasty, nasty, fat, fat ankle. It's killing me. Oh, I went to the doctor's today and waited in the... In the... Uh, I apologize. I waited in the walk-in clinic for an hour and found that there was no doctor in there, so why is it open? I left. Anyways, I'm going to be pouring this into a tiny, teeny, tiny uh, glass that I got from a, a brewing company called uh, Nusch von Steiner. Nusch von Steiner. And it says Das Echt. It's got the castle on there. It's all cool. And... Unlike most of my reviews, we pop in this can open. Ooh, smells very much like an IPA. Let's go for the pour. Kind of went over a bit there. Wow, it's a very hobby, very syrupy uh, tasting. IPA. Got a very cool looking, I don't know, it's cool because you can, normally IPAs are darker, but this one you can see through very clearly. Uh, we got a very copper tone looking, yellowish, uh, bronzy looking color there. Got about a two finger head on a small, small, uh, I can't even think right now. Uh, the bubbles, uh, very medium sort of bubbles. If you can see them in the camera properly, they're not they're not that small, they're not that big, uh, which isn't really that big of a deal. But the head is staying around, so that's what we care about. It smells very much very much like a West Coast IPA. Um, yeah, for sure. got a good taste to it. It's actually got a little bit of floral hops in there too I can taste. Floral hops kind of taste like candy in this. It's probably because of that syrupy taste I'm getting. It's my cat pasta right here. Right? Cat pasta? That's right. She's chilling by the window. Eating cat grass. <laughs> Yeah, so I, if I could compare this with any beer that I've had, 
is actually, this tastes mostly like Southern Tears um, IPA. Or, the, or it actually tastes a little bit more like their double IPA. Because um, their regular IPA is extremely syrupy, and their double IPA, for some reason, uh, tastes less syrupy. But this is even just a little bit less than that. But it tastes very much the same. So if you like your... Uh, if you like your Southern Tier Double IPAs, I highly recommend picking up this can. Uh, and I assure you, even though it came in a green can, uh, I'm sure this only reflects upon green bottles instead of green cans, but basically it doesn't taste skunky whatsoever. I, I've never had a, an IPA taste skunky. Yeah, they weren't lying about hops, though. Very, very, very many hops in there. I wish I could pick them up individually, but of course, you know that I'm not really uh, experienced to that level. So, uh, yeah. Well, this is pretty good. It's tasting the same all the way down. Oh, starting to get a little bit more syrup near the ending there. woo hoo hoo yeah, it's not bad. I'd probably give this like a 3.4 out of 5. After that last taste, I wouldn't mind giving it a 3.2 out of 5. <clears throat> Forgive me. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's and Pasta's beer reviews. All right, people. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly and eat cat grass. Cheers.